What is up, Washington football fans? Happy Friday, TGIF to you. And with that, let's get into today's video. So let's go over what the injury report looks like as of this morning. Um, of course, some of these names are not going to be any shock what whatsoever to you. Um, but with that, let's get into it. So Curtis Samuel, let's start off with him. He is getting uh, more opinions from doctors about his groin injury. Ron Rivera has not said anything different in regards to that. Likelihood, Curtis Samuel is not going to play this weekend. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if we see him at all the rest of this season. If we do, it may be toward the, the last couple of games. And by then, who knows, there may not be any point. But... That being said, Curtis Samuel, so far it's been kind of a disappointing signing with him with that injury. Hopefully next year he bounces back and is back to 100%, but I don't expect really honestly to see him the rest of the season. Uh, Montez Sweat, as we know, has a broken jaw. Um, he will be out for probably at least, I would say, another five weeks. At the longest, hopefully. Four to five weeks, but... He, of course, he didn't practice. Uh, Diami Brown had limited practice on Thursday. Um, he is suffering through a knee injury. Uh, Sam Cosme had limited practice as well on Thursday. Uh, he's dealing with that ankle injury. Would hope that we can get him back. I would love to see him back on the field this weekend, if at all, if at all possible, because our offense seems to live and die by how healthy the offensive line is. Uh, that being said, of course, Brandon Sheriff also had limited practice. Of course, you know, he had that, uh, was it the MCL strain uh, or sprain? Um, so he's working his way back. It should be about time for Brandon Sheriff to come back. So if we can get Cosme and Sheriff back both in the same week, that would be totally awesome. Totally awesome. And that's a, you can tell I, I grew up in the 1980s. Um, so, and Antonio Gibson, another limited practice on Thursday. He's kind of been limited all week. Of course, he has been dealing with those, uh, those shin injuries. And those, uh, those shin injuries have been kind of keeping him limited a lot. Um, I don't, I don't know if I would definitely blame his shins on his fumbling that he's had this year, but, um, I do expect to see Antonio Gibson play. Uh, now, I still think we're going to see a, a lot more J.D. McKissick and Jarrett Patterson, but Antonio Gibson will play. I'm sure of it. Uh, Samus Reyes, uh, we haven't really seen a lot of, with him this year, of course. You know, he's still young and raw, but um, you know, he's been battle, battling a hip injury. Uh, he did have limited practice on Thursday as well. Um, I would love to see a little bit more of what he can do. Um, I think it's going to take him another year, at least one more off season, if not two, to really see his fullest potential. But I mean, I'm I'm one of those uh, fans who are, who are high, who is high on on Samus Reyes. He he's uh, that dude's a monster. Um, Another guy that I am very high on, Cam Sims. Love the guy. Uh, he had limited practice. Uh, he's been dealing with some hamstring issues. That's kept him out of several games this year. Hopefully we get him back because we definitely do need him at wide receiver. With, of course, you know, Curtis Samuel being out. Um, Diami Brown being out. Uh, we've had to rely more on uh, DeAndre Carter, which, honestly, DeAndre Carter has stepped up and he's played really well for us this year. So my hat's off to DeAndre. Uh, but Terry uh, McLaurin needs some, some help there. Um, you know, we he hadn't had uh, Logan Thomas, who is usually the other, uh, you know, favorite target for quarterbacks on this team. So... Um, hopefully he's getting Logan Thomas back as well. Logan is not on the injury report. So for me, that, that says that he's going to play this week. 
that would be big to get Logan Thomas back, of course. But, uh, you know, getting Brand uh, Cam Sims back is definitely a big thing for us as well. Um, William Jackson III, he was full practice. He's been full practice pretty much all this week. Um, he was dealing with a knee injury. Uh, hopefully that knee is 100%. We, you know, maybe that's what has caused him to not play as well this year. I think he's also kind of learning, um, you know, kind of a, well, I wouldn't say learning new techniques because, I mean, obviously he's he's played corner in the league for, for a few years, so he should know his techniques by now. But, you know, learning a, a new system and, and, you know, I don't want to make excuses for the guy because, honestly, he has not played well for us. He has not looked like a number one corner for us at all. But we need all the help we can get. Um, I think Danny Johnson has done an admirable job, you know, coming in and, and playing for us in place of William Jackson the third. But I think that, you know, still, we need all the help we can get. And maybe if, if Jackson is 100% healthy, maybe we're going to see a little bit more of the reason why that we picked him up. Um, speaking of the defense and, uh, you know, dime backs, cornerbacks, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one would kind of surprise me. Benjamin St. Juice, uh, he did not practice on Thursday. Uh, there was no indication uh, on Wednesday. I assume he did practice on Wednesday. Um, he has an illness. Uh, it's not been disclosed on what that illness is, so we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Uh, but he did not practice on a Thursday. We definitely need St. Juice in there. So, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'll run through their injury report real quickly. Uh, the guys who did not practice, uh, Antonio Gibson, Chris Godwin, Rob uh, Gronkowski, uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, uh, Richard Robinson, Steve McLinden. Uh, none of those guys practiced, I believe, Ron, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Gronk is out for the rest of the season with a back injury. Um, uh, Chris Godwin, I think it's going to be out for a significant amount of time. I'm not quite sure about uh, JPP, uh, but it's looking like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers may be going into this game with um, with a lot of players out for them. So we'll see how that affects Tom Brady. Usually that doesn't. Um, but we haven't really gotten any official game statuses for any of these guys yet. Uh, but you know we'll have to keep a check on that and see and see what happens. So folks, yeah, that is the injury report. Uh, likely, what I think we're going to see, we should see Logan Thomas back, which would be great. Hopefully, we'll see Brandon Sheriff and Sam Cosme back as well. That will be another big lift for the offense if we can get Cam Sims back. Uh, that's going to help us as well. I really think uh, the offense is going to be re ready. Rare end to go. Uh, what will help uh, hurt us, of course, is Montez Sweat being out. Uh, you know, Chase Young has just kind of had a sophomore sophomore slump. Easy, easy for me to say without having my coffee yet. Um, he has kind of been in slump this year. He's only had like uh, one and a half sacks. So definitely um, a little disappointing with uh, Chase Young, but I I'm not in, you know at all um, worried about. Chase Young, I think he'll he'll be just fine in the future. But we do need Montez Sweat back. We need him back terribly. Um, so, you know, he's, he's one of the other bookends. And uh, the good thing is we do have decent depth uh, along the defensive line. But, uh, yeah, that's big for Montez Sweat not being able to play. And, you know, we may not get him back until maybe possibly for Lucky – when we start to do that stretch run through the NFC East uh, division. So that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about the injury report. And I will see you in the next one.